Hey everybody, I'm Steph Koza and today I am reviewing Game Night. Game Night stars Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. It is a comedy slash thriller slash murder mystery. And I will be honest, this is one of those movies where I saw the trailer and I was like, I don't know, this just looks like it could be total dog shit. But it is an interesting concept. Basically, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman are one of three couples who regularly have game night together. Usually it's pretty casual, like charades and scrabble and all your usual game night stuff. But Jason Bateman's brother, who has always had a very strong sibling rivalry with each other, comes to town, joins their game night, and he kind of takes over and decides to host a murder mystery game night. But then shit really hits the fan when it turns out there is an actual murder mystery going on. And the idea is that someone's going to break in and kidnap someone and they'll be taken and they have to figure out where they went. But coincidentally, just as they start playing this game, some real criminals break into their home and kidnap Jason Bateman's brother. And everybody thinks it's part of the game when actually he was really Really kidnapped and there is some serious threats towards everyone involved and that's pretty much the setup for the movie and it is a great concept I love this idea as soon as I saw the trailer I was like man I really hope this doesn't suck because that would be so good but honestly I didn't have very high hopes going into this movie I was like this is probably just gonna be another shitty comedy but I will say I was pleasantly surprised when I left this movie because this was a really fun time. I loved this movie. There are so many moments of this film that made me laugh so hard. I was dying. <laughs> like from beginning to end, it is comedic gold. Everything about this movie is hilarious, really well executed, really well written, and every single cast member brings something awesome to the movie. There's not really a wasted character, there's no wasted space. Everybody brings something different to the table and everyone is hilarious in their own way. Every character is so well crafted. It was just great. I felt like all of the characters complemented each other and all of their little story arcs fit well within the entire overall plot. There were definitely some moments that were really stretching it as far as like believability goes. Like, I will admit this plot, it gets really, really ridiculous. Like here's the line of believability and the movie kind of jumps around that line every so often. Also some of the characters, while they are fantastic and hilarious, are a little bit exaggerated, particularly this guy and this guy. This guy is just dumb beyond repair, like so unbelievably stupid, but it still adds a really nice layer to the film and he was really funny when he was being unbelievably stupid, so it's forgivable. And then this guy, I feel like he's just always for the rest of his life going to be typecast as the weird, creepy as hell character. And it's like unbelievably creepy, like no one in real life is this weird. But for some reason it kind of works because the whole movie is kind of leaning on this almost too ridiculous to be enjoyable line, but it doesn't quite cross it because I thoroughly enjoyed it. Jason Bateman is hilarious in this movie. It's one of the funniest roles I've seen him play, as well as Rachel McAdams. I love her in comedy. I want her to do more comedy. She is so good at it. And the two of them work so well together. Also, for a stupid comedy, this film has an amazing plot. Like, there are a ton of plot twists that I totally didn't see coming. I had no idea where the movie was going. I was really worried that it was gonna be one of those, like, comedy thrillers that starts as a comedy and then just gets really serious and way over the top, but it didn't really do that. It maintained its comedy throughout the entire film. It also maintained a great sense of still being a thriller while being a comedy. It was very thrilling. It was very suspenseful. I had a lot of anxiety watching this film, but the balance of the thrills and the comedy was really nice, and I just had a lot of fun watching this movie. Game Night is a hilarious, thrilling, gruesomely fun ride. So for that, I'm going to give Game Night a four out of five. Knocking a few points because there were a few plot points that were like really unbelievable. Like there is no way that would have happened just not even a little bit. But aside from that, this movie was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And I would recommend it to pretty much anyone who likes a good comedy. But that's it for my review of Game Night. Let me know if you guys saw the movie and what you thought about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also wanted to let you know that I now have a Patreon. So many people have told me to make one and so many of you have asked me if I had one and where they can find it. And I'm always like, sorry, I don't have one. But now I do! If you choose to support me and support this channel, you can go to patreon.com slash aggressive comics. You completely, absolutely do not have to. This is very optional. But I like to think of it as kind of like my online tip jar. It really means a lot to me. It really helps me out, really 
lets me create better content for you guys and more content for you guys. My ultimate goal is to make this my full-time job. That would be so cool. But unfortunately, I cannot do that without your help. Anything as small as a dollar is a really helpful contribution, even if you don't think it is. Every dollar means so much. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that bell icon to get notifications every time I post a video. I'm Steph Koza. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.